Alrighty folks, it is your boy Seppo by here coming at you guys with another Prodigy Diaries. I once again have some Americans on the video and we are at Jarva Disco of course playing the European Pro Tour uh, one day before the tournament and playing a practice round right now and we thought that we would all show our favorite holes on the course. And right now we are on my favorite hole which is hole 6 on the layout. Alan, would you like to film? Uh, we're gonna film all of our shots. So hole six, 148 meters. I think it's a very good part three, like a very pro level part three. Downhill, pretty significant amount. You have to play the wind first of all, get out the tunnel onto the open and into another tunnel at the end. I don't think, or is that a basket? Do you guys see the basket yes, there? That yeah, is. so you can see the basket. Pretty good. Ezra, what are you throwing? Throwing my 400 SD1. Okay. D1. D1. Same thing exactly. I was throwing the same check SD1. disc. No way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel like you want to like have a little bit of flex on it. Yeah. Yeah, and I think even if you miss to the right a little bit, it's not that bad. So this is the right side of the green. You have a lot of gaps teapad is up there and I feel like the left side is worse it can get pretty tough on that side and here if you get on the right side you have a lot of room to still even have a putt at the basket nice we are on, we're on hole 8 for the tournament this is my favorite hole in the course because I get to throw my favorite disc my most overstable PA1, throw it on a little flex, and then you hyzer in. It's a sloping green like that, and it basically goes forever. So, kind of want something overstable to crash into the hill. Ooh, oh. last the change. Is it rolling? Okay, yeah, roll, roll to the basket. Nice. And it can actually be gone if you go that way. <laughs> He's still watching. Throwing oh. a Kristen Tatar signed PA3. Ooh, that's a nice one. are also nice on this one. Nice. So Isaac, it's your favorite hole? It's my favorite hole. Hole 11 out here at Yarva. It's a nice little turnover with the dead tree you want to go to the right of. Um, it's 475 feet. I'm going to try to throw an M1. I wonder if I can see the basket. No, yeah, but I can see the the Death tree. tree. So you want to get to the right of that? Yeah. Okay. That's the goal. I like it. Looked that, good. That felt good. I'm throwing my M4 given to me by Gannon just a couple weeks ago. Nice. Hold. Yeah, that's going to be money. Nice. Roller? Yeah. It's a good play for this. Before, Seppo gave me a few weeks ago. <laughs> a little too flipped, but down there for probably yeah. far. Yeah. I think I'll go with my Isaac Robinson and four. Oh, 
looks so good. That's very good. So I am here about almost 20 meters short. Isaac's just inside the circle. All in already played from there. And here's the death tree. I'll make this one. Uh, we are out here at hole 12 at Yarva, and it is probably my favorite hole out here. Um, it's a really daunting drive, and if the wind is picking up, then it's even more scary. But luckily, the wind is down now, so I'm going to throw my D1 and try to get in a good position. That's good. Nice. I'm just going to go for a little bit more with the D3. Yeah, that's a good play. That's the safe play. Yeah. Nice shot. So the first round of Yerva Open is right now underway. And as I just got to watching Kevin's round, this is what happened. I'll have to wait and see. Grenade here, you were talking about yeah. this before we got started. We trying to get a grenade count. Here's number one. Oh, no. he's, oh my he's gosh, a grenade ace! Are you kidding is me? It? Is that even possible? Oh, he's, he's aced it. What? Go on, KJ. KJ USA, oh. look at him. Running it down. Look at him go. He just dunked a grenade ace. That is oh crazy. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, I've seen it all now. Kate Jones was feeling good during the first round of Yerva Open and he finished the round at minus seven. Kevin Jones, you just finished your first round, seven down, tied for third place. Great game overall today. It looked like you couldn't make any mistakes, only one bogey. Mm -hmm. How do you feel over, about your round overall today? Uh, I wish I would have finished a little better, but overall I feel great. I mean, I'm sitting in T3 or something right now, so lead car tomorrow is awesome. Um, overall, feels good though. Putting is very relaxed and confident, so that's gonna help me tomorrow and the next day and only one behind the leading duo, Henry Kogman and Luke Humphries. Is that a surprise to you, seeing those guys up there at the top? No, not a surprise at all. Any, any one of us can play good out here, so yeah, I expect it. Good luck to you tomorrow on moving day. Looking forward to see you again here at Yarva. Thank you very much, see you guys tomorrow. After round one, there was eight Prodigy players in top 10, so the team was doing amazing. During the second round, the team continued playing hot, Alden Harris playing the hot round of minus 9. 
Luke Humphreys continued his solid performance and played the same score of minus 8 as the first round, which put him in the lead by 2 over Henry Kogman from Sweden. Hey, moving day action. It's all over and uh, 8 down today. Luke Humphreys, you're in the lead with 2 stroke coming into final round tomorrow. Okay, good to know. How do you feel? I feel great. I didn't look at the scores, so that's information to me. I got a few more birdies, a few more bogeys today, but all in all, it felt good. It was a windy day out there, so bogeys were bound to happen. You just had to control your game. Yeah, you had 11 birdies, so a lot of birdies, only three bogeys. Yeah. Felt like you controlled the, the fairways quite well. Yeah, it felt like it as well. Putted pretty well. Our whole card was playing good. We all star birdied a bunch of holes. Um, it was a great vibe. The card tomorrow, of course, joined by uh, three other players, uh, Henry Kogman, Alden Harris, and of course Kevin Jones as well. How do you feel about that? That's awesome, playing with some friends and some Prodigy teammates, so I couldn't be more excited about it. Anything you're gonna change for tomorrow, or will you go for the same game plan? I might throw that roller that went OB t tomorrow on hole one. I, I just don't want any OBs, so we'll see. We might change that. I'll have to see tomorrow. Thank you so much for coming over here, and good luck tomorrow. Thank you, Victor. Yeah. The final day weather was sometimes sunny, sometimes rainy. Some players handled the rain better than others. Isaac Robinson shot the hot round of the tournament with minus 13, which is rated at 1085. This got him all the way to the second place. On the podium with Isaac were Henrik Hagman and Teemu Talikainen, who shared the third position. No one was able to stop Lou Comfries, who became the first American to win a European Pro Tour event. He did it with a three-stroke margin over Isaac Robinson. So well played. We're going to get to hear from the man. Luke Humphreys, winner here at the Arva Open 2023. Congratulations. Thank you, Victor. This has uh, been an awesome week. I can't wait to reflect on this one. You played eight under the first two days, five down today. No one really caught fire there on the lead card, but you played a solid round anyway. Can you tell us a little bit of, about yeah. it? Yeah, it started out pretty even. Everybody getting their birdies. I had a, a spit through to a roll away on hole, uh, I think that was six or seven, which double bogey kind of cost me, I bounced back good, but I felt like it was much closer after that incident. And then when I checked and saw that Isaac Robinson was about to shoot a 13 under, uh, you know, I, I knew I had to keep the pace up. It was quite tense for a while. I'm happy that you were able to bounce back. And you're the first American winner here on the European Pro Tour. What do you have to say about that? I had forgotten that Seppo told me no Americans had won. It's an honor to be the first, uh, hopefully many more. Are you going to come back next year to defend your title? I don't think I can say no. <laughs> I hope to see you again. And how's the rest of your season going to look like now? Man, I can't wait to get back, get to my dog Hogan. I'll be playing the Ledgestone Open like 48 hours after I get back. So it'll be a whirlwind. Congratulations again and good luck for the rest of the season. Thank you, Victor. Thank you, guys. Thank you all for watching this one. Please let us know in the comment section below what you would want to see on the Prodigy Diaries and we will try to get that content out for you. Once again, thanks for watching and we will see you guys in the next one. Peace!